And always a reminder for myself and abdukul aji sadaifu miskin uzal mujahad. And but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. And alhamdulillah that Surah Al Kahf is an immense ocean of realities. And alhamdulillah that technologies that are coming are explaining the Divinely Kingdom. Its use of it may not be appropriate on dunya but its purpose was to explain the heavenly kingdom. Those whom understand these technologies and now even children by one, two years old are understanding, by ten years old they're able to make entire graphic productions for schools and projects. So they're already coming with this code in their reality and the purpose of teaching it, it shows Allah's kingdom. In the last days thy kingdom come and Allah's will will be done. And that's with the arrival of these heavenly souls and heavenly personalities and the hukum and the government of the heavens begins to open upon this earth. The technology shows everything. This concept that some mentioned of quantum entanglement. And then when you make your tafakkur and contemplate that now Allah is giving for these scientists to understand this malakut, this world of light that awliya teach and tariqahs propagate. And not to be too technical but they found that certain particles entangle. Like in the physical world relationships and they call entanglement that you're so involved in your relationship of love with your spouse, your children, you're in every aspect of their life they found similar in the atomic and particle level. That if these particles come together and get entangled they found no matter the distance close or far what happens to one can be immediately seen on the other. Their quantum, their light reality, quantum means the study of light. Their light reality they're mimicking these particles they understood. Particles and atoms and molecules come together with bonds. And the strongest of bonds is love, not lust, love. And what Prophet gave to us, Allah gave to us quantum, kuntum in tuhibunullah fatabiyuni kuntum. Tell them if they want my love, fatabiyuni, to follow you and I will love them. They will be entangled in the Divine reality of La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah the original entanglement. This is the secret of our whole existence. That Muhammadun Rasulullah powered by La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah by itself we are not there. We don't exist at that level. Our existence because you're not in La ilaha illallah it's a phrase that is self-explanatory. La ilaha illallah means nothing but Allah where we existed is the entanglement in which Allah brought the particles of Sayyidina Muhammad and gives to us, فَتَّبِعُونِي Follow this relationship and reality of light and it will dress you 
in its entanglement. As Allah is dressing with the love He has for Prophet hence giving its qudra and its power. Giving then, in Allahi wa malaikatuhu yusalloon ala nabi Allah's zikr is now that power, its entanglement is the whole movement of this ocean coming together and everything manifesting from that. In the world of light when you come and form a bond of love the light that you bring because no longer we're talking physical but as soon as you have a bond of love with somebody their light is coming and being entangled within yours, diffused within your lights. This is still the world of form because light has a form, you're seeing it. But deeper than the light there's an energy and in the energy are these particles and atoms that's why we don't see atoms, we see light. But where there's light there are atoms. Where there are atoms there are energies. So when the sense of madad is coming what's happening? Is that you're calling for a light, you're calling for this reality and lights to come and you're hoping that your light will be entangled, mixed and diffused. And it's secret to keep it is love, it's the strongest bond. So these molecular scientists know that there's a bond that has to take place and the strongest is, is and the most natural understanding is love. The entanglement of parents and children and loved ones, spouses and dear ones, relatives is love, it's the purest entanglement. So you feel what your loved one feels, you sense what they sense if they're in danger, you sense the danger. This is found at a scientific level, these particles are communicating and if they entangle themselves reactions will occur regardless of their distance together, could be very far away, happens here, happen there.